Hi, I'm Phil. Welcome to Holy Habitus. Today we're in the one year Bible reading plan, 2 Timothy chapter 2, verses 23 and following, where Paul says to his mentee Timothy, Again I say, don't get involved in foolish, ignorant arguments that only start fights. A servant of the Lord must not quarrel, but must be kind to everyone, be able to teach and be patient with difficult people. Gently instruct those who oppose the truth. Perhaps God will change those people's hearts and they will learn the truth. This is great advice for all of us, really. Who hasn't been drawn into an argument or a quarrel? Who hasn't found themselves getting flushed and defensive and adversarial and trying to prove the other person wrong and, and we're right and, uh, and we want to prove them wrong? It's, it's a danger for all of us. It's human nature. And, uh, and Paul is saying, actually, as servants of the law, we need to be people who are kind to everyone, who, who learn how to teach and who, are, who gently instruct others, um, who are patient with difficult people. I mean, that's the problem. We often get most defensive and argumentative with difficult people or people who we see as opposing the truth. And we get drawn into an argument rather than drawing them into the kingdom, into the truth. This can happen inside and outside of the church. Christians, sadly, can get into spiritual controversies or het up about quibbling over biblical texts and so forth. And in the process, get into an argument and a fight which damages the integrity of the body of Christ. How can that be aiding the truth? Um, at the same time, we can also allow this, uh, sadly, into our evangelism. And so often we think that um, to be evangelistic is to argue other people into the kingdom. Whereas in actual fact, so often by winning the argument, we lose the person, to use that phrase. I've seen so many uh, online kind of blog posts or uh, uh, comments on newspaper articles and so on, uh, where let's say an atheist will ride in with, uh, you Christians, you could, uh, um, you might as well believe in Santa Claus or the flying spaghetti monster. And the problem is then that Christians rise to the bait and start getting offensive and rude and dismissive in response and nobody is helped by that kind of discussion. Um, it's a bit like a, a clam. If you think about a clam, um, we're all very insecure as people and our tendency is to distrust others and to suspect motives and think that others are against us. And, and if someone's trying to win an argument with us, we sort of clam up even more. We're trying to get in and no, we're climbing. Actually, we need to sit back and, and listen and, uh, and create warmth and, uh, and a conducive environment over time that clam opens up as they begin to trust us and who knows they might allow new ideas into the mix as Paul says perhaps God will change those people's hearts and they will learn the truth not always not always they might choose to reject the truth they might choose to reject you they might uh, choose to persecute you even but at least you will have done everything you can through your gracious patience and pursuit of the truth to uh, to have honoured them as people and have led them to that led them to Jesus the truth and who knows as we do that we might also learn that we don't have the lockdown on the truth quite as much as we thought we have and ourselves be drawn into the presence of the truth, capital T, that is Jesus Christ, the way, the truth and the life.